Hello. 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 <laughs> wow. That's insane. That view. Wow. He's coming again? Yeah. Yeah, maybe he's preparing his attack. <laughs> All right, all right, guys. Welcome to another video. I'm here in Sigiriya, uh, Sri Lanka, uh, in the beautiful surroundings, green, lush, birds, monkeys, elephants. You can find it all here. It's really, really a nice place. I love it. And also the hotel that I just showed you the sign of. Very good hotel. Just the Wi-Fi is a bit of an issue, but that's basically anywhere in Sri Lanka. It's really a struggle to upload videos. But uh, my plan for today is to go first to Sigiriya village which has some nice lakes and some probably some other stuff that we can find there and after that I'm going to the well the main attraction here is the lion's rock but I'm not going there I'm going to the Pidirulanga or something I will write it down here I cannot pronounce it uh, but I will go on a rock that is like uh, op opposite of the lion's rock which means you can have a beautiful view of the lion's rock from there so that's basically my plan and maybe I will do it for sunset because apparently you can have a beautiful sunset there Lots of people do it for sunrise as well, but yeah, I'm, I'm not really a morning person So I'll, I might go for sunrise or maybe uh, sunset. Sorry, or maybe I'll just go in the afternoon We'll see. We'll see. So yeah, let's go And I must say, I'm dealing a bit with a digestive problem, <laughs> if you know what I mean. Uh, so if you see me running in one of these bushes, well, it might happen. <laughs> yeah, the rice and curry, well, mostly the curries, I think, and the string hoppers and the hoppers and everything that I'm eating here, the kotu also, is uh, catching up with me. It took a while, because usually in most countries I get sick at least once. Uh, but in Sri Lanka it took a little bit longer. Well. Not so long, like two weeks. I'm, I've been here for two weeks now. So, yeah, it's catching up with me. I've been sick a bit the last few days, but it's good, you know, well, it's not good to be sick, but the days that I'm sick are usually the days that I can catch up on some work, because usually I tend to postpone my editing and all the administration work. So these last two, three days I've been very productive, but I didn't leave my hotel room, basically. The good thing is it's a super nice hotel, so, yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't too bad to be in the hotel room. <sighs> and I love how quiet it is here, wow. Hello. Sorry? I go to uh, the lake. Lake, is this way? Ah, very nice, very nice. This is your house? Beautiful place. <laughs> Beautiful. Sorry? No? What? Hello. Hello. Oh, what a cutie. <laughs> That's a tikka on, her, on the head. Hello. 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 <laughs> Baby. Baby. What's the name? Danuka. Danuka. And your name? Shanika. Shanika, Danuka. And you? Kanti. Kanti. I will try to remember. <laughs> I'm making video, is that okay? <laughs> video, video. Wow. I really like your uh, your backyard here. Yeah, what country? Country? Uh, uh, Belgium. Belgium. Yeah, you know? Mm. Ah. Oh, it's nice here, but a little bit hot for me. <laughs> I'm sweating. <laughs> oh, the lake is beautiful there? or? Um, beautiful lake? Uh, lake. Lake. Uh. What is the name? Warangal. Uh, how? Kayangala. Kayangala, okay. <laughs> yeah, I will go there now. Uh, okay. Maybe I see you later. You know, I go there and then I come back. Okay, bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs> oh, yeah, very lovely people here. They said hi immediately. Where are you going? <laughs> very nice, very nice. Always nice to talk to the locals, especially if they're friendly like this. So we made it to the Kayanwala Lake and it's beautiful. I thought it would be full of hotels around here and stuff, but it's actually not. It's really quiet and peaceful. We have a little guardian dog here as well. Hello. Hello. Hmm. It looks uh, not too good, honestly. But the lake is gorgeous. What a... Ooh. 
And there are a few like homestay kind of hotels here. Like I think this is one of them and you can see the, the lion's rock, the Sigiria in the back. I don't know if you can see it, but it's sticking out there between the trees. Uh, yeah, that's the one that I'm going to. Well, I'm not going to exactly that one, but that one you can visit as well. That's like the main attraction here. I think it's like $30, but I think it's worth it. It's, um, they call it what, the sixth world wonder or something. Uh, so I, I think it's definitely worth a visit. Um, but I go to the Pidurangala or something it's called. And look right there. You see that little hut in the trees there? Well, uh, right in front of my hotel, there's also a hut like that and they put it high above the ground because there are actually wild elephants roaming around here. That's insane to me. Uh, mostly uh, at dusk, uh, they're here. Sometimes you even see the signs like at sunrise and everything, the, the elephants are roaming around. I don't know where they are now, <laughs> I was hearing some noise. But it's a cow, it's a cow, it's okay. <laughs> yeah, imagine having an elephant all of a sudden here. I don't know what I would do, just walk away I guess, I mean, I don't know. I would be a bit worried. But there are definitely wild elephants here. So, if I get lucky I see one, but preferably not from not up too close. <laughs> Okay, but uh, I think I saw the lake now. I'm heading back to the way I came from uh, and uh, we will visit, visit the Pidurangala. It's uh, like uh, maybe two kilometers from here. Maybe I'll walk it, maybe I'll take a tuk-tuk, I don't know. I hear the price for a tuk-tuk is 2000 uh, and they take you there, they wait for you and then they take you back. So, so guys, I was just chilling here for a bit and all of a sudden I hear a peacock like really close by. There is one here in the tree. It's insane. I never saw a wild peacock. Can you see it there? You can see the feathers really low there in the tree. It's moving a little bit. You see the head moving also. It's pretty far away for this camera, but yeah, I would like to get closer, honestly. Maybe I can... Oh, wow, it's really beautiful. Wow, look here. You see the blue neck there and the feathers, wow. Guys, that's insane. I mean, I see peacocks in Belgium, but never in the wild. I hear them also in, when I, while I'm sleeping, uh, I can hear it. Well, not while I'm sleeping, but when I'm awake <laughs> in the hotel, I can hear them like, it's wow, it's so beautiful. In the wild, it's different, you know, it hits different when you see it in the wild. I wish I could, could see it from closer. I don't know how to, I don't know if they listen. <laughs> I don't think I can uh, get them to come here. Oh wow, it's really amazing. And look at this, there's a light switch here in the middle of the street. Look, we are here. And there's a light switch here. I wonder if it's for the street light. Nope, it doesn't work. Huh. I never saw that. You need to turn on the street lamps manually or what, but it doesn't seem to work. Maybe somebody using the electricity. The, the wires are going up there to the light, so it should definitely be for the street light. Strange, strange. Oh wow. Last time when I passed here there was also an elephant, but it was further away. Now it's pretty close. Hello? Sorry? No, I'm good. Oh, you're from, uh, are you from restaurant also? Yeah. I recognize you. <laughs> All right, guys, when walking on the main road, you take a left and then we go to, you see the sign there, Sigiria or Pidurangala. That's where I'm going. You can see the Sigiria in front of me already, but uh, we're not going to that one. We're going to the, we're going to the small rock instead to have a nice view over the big rock. That's the plan. Let's go. I think I'm a bit early for sunset, but maybe I'll just wait a bit there and catch the sunset anyway. I'll see, I'll see. Because if I catch the sunset, I need to go back in the dark. <laughs> and I don't have a tuk-tuk, so I need to walk all the way back in the dark. Like most people go by tuk-tuk, I think. Plenty of people have been asking me already, where are you going, where are you going? And they all tell me it's far away, but it's only two kilometers, you know. I, I'm used to walking more than that, so it's okay. Just a bit sweaty, 
but I can handle it. Look, this is a beautiful view over the big rock, the lion's rock. Right there. Look at this little monkey, he's jumping on the bus here. Here, he's on the bus, he's going in. He's trying to go in. Look here. Where are you going, little fella? <laughs> he's trying to get in. <laughs> Sorry? Maybe you go line drop? No, I go to Pidurangala. Yes, yes, yes. It's straight, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you guide, I will come no. with my motorbike, drop you. Explain. I will just walk, it's okay. Okay, okay. thank you very much. Okay. Uh, and this is the exit to the Lion's Rock. You can see the people coming down from here. No drone zone. Ah, and the entrance, okay, entrance is here, exit is here. But that's to the main rock, I'm going to the small rock, Pidurangala. Finally I know how to pronounce it. <laughs> Are you the guardian of Pidurangala? Pidurangala guardian. Not so active. Just chilling. But we're definitely on the right track, Pidurangala, that way to Pidurangala temple. Hello sir. Yes sir. Uh, can I have a uh, fresh uh, Coke Zero please? Yes. Oh, it looks uh, <coughs> really nice because it's so, co uh, so warm, you know, I need some refreshment. Yeah. yeah, the Coke Zero. How much is that? 200 sir. 200? Okay, let's put it here. So it looks like we need to go through the Piduranga cave temple uh, to get to the, the rock actually. So I need to go this way. But um, sacred place, shoes off, hats off. Dress modestly. I don't think I'm really dressed for it, but I can take my head off and my shoes off. I'll do that. And I can see the rock already. <laughs> Need to take the shoes off? Yes. Yeah. Uh, maybe a little bit up. A little bit up? up. Oh, it's okay, I'll yeah. take it off already. Yeah, yes. <laughs> All right. Okay, we're inside the cave now. Yeah, I'm not going to check out the cave temple exactly. Maybe later I'll, I'll make a stop. But you can see it a bit from here. Hello. Hello. Ah, ticket is here? Okay. Okay, thank you. <laughs> How much is it? 1,000. 1,000? Okay, let's see. Where are you from? From uh, Belgium. Belgium. There you go. I speak yeah. Dutch. Well, Dutch, yes. I speak Dutch and French. Thank you well. Also beef. Merci beaucoup. Yeah, de rien. Oh, it's been a while that I spoke French already. Yes, it's too difficult. I've been traveling for a while already, you know. <laughs> are you alone travel? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, thank you, sir. How long is it to get up there? Two hours up and down. Two hours up and down. So one hour up? No. Ah, oh, it's okay, it's okay. All right, thank you. Okay, got my ticket. 1,000 rupees. All right, guys, off we go for a steep climb. Some people tell me half hour, some people tell me one and a half hour. <laughs> I'll just take it slow. Because look at these stairs. Stairs, stairs, stairs. Stairs. Stairs everywhere you look, <laughs> but uh, I guess it will be all right. But uh, I've, I'm not so fit anymore as before. I must say, before I was doing a lot of hiking, going running three times a week. But since I'm traveling, I'm not so active anymore. It's a bit hard, you know, to maintain uh, the fitness while traveling. So I'll just take it slow. It starts off nice already. Nice environment. Big boulders around here. The sunlight. Peeping through the leaves. Love it. Beautiful light here. Beautiful light. If you want to get some good photos, come here, come here. <sighs> oh, and actually they have light. Yeah, I was wondering about that when you come back down for sunset, after sunset, but there is some light. I don't know how bright it would be. But here as well, look, they have some lights all over the place. So it should be all right, I guess. 
it's definitely no joke in this temperature so many steep stairs up I'm dying and it looks like we have our first viewpoint here and it looks epic a bit hazy but a view all over the jungle some lake there I guess that's the lake that I visited earlier Now the good thing about this trek up is that you're pretty much walking all the time in the shade because there are big rocks next to you or you're walking under the, under the trees. So that's a good thing, but still, as you can see, sweating my ass off. But these views, what? Spectacular views, look at this. Imagine getting lost somewhere in the jungle. Actually, I would love to do a proper jungle trek, uh, but obviously I cannot do that alone. I need a guide for that. Maybe I'll, I'll try and find one here in Sri Lanka, do a proper jungle track, maybe a multi-day track even. That would be cool. But yeah, these kind of jungles are too dangerous at night, I guess, or even during the day. So you really need a guide for that. <sighs> yeah, didn't expect this, but it's quite uh, technical to get up here. Like, really? You need to go through different rocks, climb from one rock to another, but I guess I'm almost at the top. That's why it's more tricky here. Maybe I should use my two hands here, or not. Made it! Wow, that's insane. That view, wow. I didn't expect this. It's even better than expected. Whew. Wow, look at this. The lion's rock surrounded by jungle pretty much anywhere. Some mountains in the background. What? <laughs> it was definitely worth it and honestly, it took me only 20 minutes to get up here, so I don't know what these people were saying, one hour and a half. It's a bit technical at the end, but it's okay. It's not too bad actually, and the view is worth it. Stunning. Well, it looks like there's another viewpoint on the other side, so let's go and check out that one. I think I like to it's a bit tricky to get there. Yes, it is. Yeah, <laughs> how to get there? I don't know, I'll just go for it. Oh. Yeah, you definitely need to have some bouldering experience, which I don't really have, honestly. <laughs> I imagine if it's wet, don't come here. Too dangerous. Let's see the view from the other side. Wow, and you can see the lion's rock behind me as well. Look at this. Insane, insane. This is Sri Lanka. She's going for it. <sighs> wow, look at this. Surrounded by jungle anywhere. <clears throat> Yeah, I knew Sri Lanka was beautiful, but uh, if I see this, it's, uh, it's more beautiful than I had imagined. It's really crazy. You're standing on top of this rock in the middle of the jungle, pr pretty much. I mean, there are some houses, but everywhere you look there, there's green, you know. Look at this. There's the lion's rock and all around green. You have a few houses, also a lake. That's pretty much what you have all around, lakes and jungle. 
and some houses. Spectacular, really. Now the sunset is uh, actually in two hours, so I'm very early. I don't know if I will wait. Honestly, I don't feel like waiting here for two hours. If it will be like one hour maybe, but two hours, it's pretty long to wait around and do nothing, you know? I don't have anything to do, so. Yeah, all these people are here for the sunset. You can see it's quite busy here now in comparison when I arrived like half hour ago. But I'm going back down, I'm not going to wait for the sunset. Uh, yeah, it's just not... I'm sure it will be nice, it will be very nice, super beautiful, I'm 100% sure. But I'm not going to wait, it's one hour more, so I'll just head back down. But it's gorgeous here, I can tell you that, it's so beautiful here. Like really, it's beautiful, wow! Yeah, you can see everybody is arriving right now. <laughs> all these people, well, they're going down, but all the others are coming up right now. It's like a zoo. <laughs> it's insane. So many people, what? Everybody's here for the sunset and we're trying to get down, but it's almost impossible. Alright guys, I finally made it away from all the tourists. Well, there are some in front of me as well, but you know, when I see a lot of white people, I don't feel like I'm on a holiday. <laughs> I don't know, it's, it's weird to me. I prefer to be among the locals and hang out with locals and I don't know, this, the vibe here is different. It's just too, too touristy, you know. I don't know, I mean it's a beautiful place and usually the beautiful places are full of tourists so I want to visit them but I don't know, I always have this kind of feeling that I don't know, I, I prefer to go and have a tea with a local family in their village or something. That's much better spend afternoon with for me. But anyway, I'm, I'm not uh, regretting that I went. It's absolutely beautiful and I would do it again probably. But uh, yeah, it's just a different vibe. So yeah, let's make it down this rock right now. Wow. They're very brave. You're very brave. What? On barefoot uh, going down. <laughs> very brave. <laughs> Look how beautiful it is. Oh wow. Okay guys, made it back down, finally sweating my ass off here and uh, yeah, maybe I'll go for a quick drink and then make my way back to the hotel, probably find some dinner but I'm not sure if I will record it uh, because I will need eat something light. Oh, yeah. Tamarind, tamarind. Tamarind, yeah. is it painful if it falls on my head? Will it hit my head? <laughs> if it falls on my head will it be painful? No. Okay, okay, I'll, I order a coconut. So now we're going to the umbrella. Mm. Need to go under umbrella, but I have my hat maybe. I'll try to dodge them. Yeah, there's some stuff falling all the time. So I have my coconut here. Uh, very refreshing. It was in the fridge actually, which is really nice. Mm. Yeah, the orange coconuts are the best, really. They have so much juice as well. This is for chasing away the monkeys. Monkeys. Yeah. <laughs> I monkeys. saw it in India as well. Somebody was shooting <coughs> at it, at the monkeys with this one. <laughs> monkeys are very. They try to steal your stuff. Yeah, very <laughs> monkeys. Yeah, I know, I know. Yes. Thank you. <coughs> mm, let's try. It's the first time that I tried it actually. Last time I wanted to try, but it was bad. Sometimes it's dark color. Yeah. Then it's not good, yeah. right? This is uh, not good, but there is uh, old. Some. Ah, it's too old. <coughs> too old, mm. some. Oh yeah, it's nice. Especially because it was in the fridge. Uh, yeah. It's better in, it's, yeah, if it's cold. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Usually when I eat it, it's um, it's not from the fridge. Hmm. You first time drink? No, drinking, no. Eating. Ah, eating, yeah. yeah. Mm. Uh, if it's this color, it's okay. Yeah. But if it's dark color, it's not good. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah.
Mm. All your coconuts are fresh. Yeah. <laughs> All right, time to head back now. I had my coconut, drinking and eating. You told me that you can show me some elephants. Yeah. Can you? Indeed, elephant. Very good. Indeed, I've been born in. But they are wild, wild animals. Yeah, wild. Elephant. Really? Yeah. It's one hundred percent sure. One hundred percent wild elephant. Yeah, but sure that we. To, yeah. We can try to see him. How long? If we go, I mean, just it's a small detour or it's long time. If you want to see a lot of elephant in the wild elephant. Maybe I don't know how far is it. Without ticket, huh? Without ticket. Without ticket. Yeah, it is more than uh, 25 kilometers. Oh no, no, not so far. <laughs> no, I don't want to go so far. No, no, no. I thought it was on the way back. On the way back, yeah, yeah, I will show you. Yeah. But how much? How much? How much is it then to the main road? We have to go. We have to go round in way. Okay, so. Do one thousand rupees for. One thousand? Yeah. Okay, let's do. Let's go. And the pirates of the Caribbean. Okay. So we will try to spot some elephants. Yeah. I hope we can spot them. What's your name? My name is Lahiru. Lahiru. Tim. And you? Tim. Nice to meet you, man. Okay, we're trying to spot some elephants. The best chances were at sun sunset, right? So right now, basically, right now it's sunset, so we have a we have a high and chance of seeing them. If you want to see nice sunset, for the five minutes when you go back, I will show you nice place to see sunset. Okay, okay, sounds good, sounds good. These are some ruins. Ah, ruins. Oh, yeah. Because uh, before Vidurangara temple was here. Oh really? It was here? Yeah. Oh. They have some old Yeah, you can see a stupa area, yeah. like a Buddhist temple. Temple is over there. They have just ruins from there. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not in use anymore. Not used. No. Oh, wow. Oh yeah, it's like a cobra head. Yeah. Can I go quickly out? Yeah, yeah, sure. Just to see. Yeah, we have a Buddhist temple here and the Buddha is surrounded by a cobra head basically. It's impressive. <laughs> it's first time that I see like this. Look at that. Big cobra head. Oh. Yeah, and there we have a stupa. Okay, this is becoming a tour. I thought I would just go to back to the main road and maybe spot some elephants, but we're doing a whole tour. <laughs> Which is better. Yeah, nice statue here. Yeah. Nice one. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Wow. I didn't expect to see one, but we have one there. What? There's an elephant right there. What? Can you stop or can I go out or not? Or is it dangerous? Yeah, it's too dangerous. Yeah, he said that they can break the fence, the electric fence, the electric wires. Wow. So he's coming to look for food, you say? Yeah, because he's a little crazy elephant. Look at him. You can see that he's crazy? Yeah. How can you see that? Because uh, he's, uh, I know his react, you know? Yeah. With, uh, With the ear ears, and, the ears uh, and the movement and everything. Yeah. Wow. Wait, I'll get a quick picture with my phone also. Yeah, yeah, sure. Are you scared? <laughs> because I had a nice experience with the elephant, that's why it. <laughs> nice experience? Ah, yeah, a lot of experience. <laughs> Wait, it's not wait. nice, really. <laughs> wow, it's really nice to see. But that's not a big one, right? Yeah, it's a big one. Yeah. This is a big one? No. Not we big, not big. A... Yeah, it's pretty small, yeah. eh? Wow, he's gone, he's gone. Well, he's still visible. Wow. Well, no, he's come out again. He's coming again? Yeah. Yeah, maybe he's preparing his attack. <laughs> he's preparing no, to attack no, us. No, we can't see. Because <laughs> this road, he is still like that, we can't see him. Yeah, he's like all camouflaged, yeah. you know. He's looking at us, but we can't see him. Yeah, he, he's smart, I think. Elephant yeah. is smart, right? Smart animal. Really smart, yeah. yeah, yeah, and good memories and everything. Okay, yeah, I think uh, we can go now. <laughs> okay, I didn't expect to see one, actually. I was like, yeah, he's just saying that, but... <laughs> he's coming back? Oh, yeah, you can see him. Well, it's hard to see, but he's still a bit visible there. <laughs> You think he's keeping an eye on us because he wants? He thinks we might do something. Or? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, wow! But elephants mostly are alone. They don't go together. It's like that, sir. To get now, it's enough for you. Yeah, it's enough. It's enough. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> A lot of male elephant. He like to live alone. 
Ah, male elephants live alone. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, so we're going to check out a sunset point now. He's showing me, but the sun is setting like right now, so we need to be quickly. <laughs> because, you know, if we are late, sunset. Yeah, I think it might be too late already, yeah. <laughs> Oh, I climbed already a mountain today, now another one. <laughs> and not at this speed. <laughs> Damn, you're so fast. <laughs> wow, nice view, nice view. What's the statue there in the back? The white? Tigiri Buddhist temple. Ah, from Buddhist temple Tigiri. Yeah. Oh, with a big Buddha. Yeah. Oh, I didn't see that one. Wait, where's the sunset there? Yeah, yeah well, it's a bit too late, I guess. But still, you have some nice color. <sighs> and there, Tigiri Rock. I think it's today a little bit cloudy. Yeah, a bit cloudy also. Yeah. But still very beautiful. Here sunset like uh, uh, six after then six twenty. Six twenty. Six twenty two. It's six seventeen. Six seventeen now, right yeah. now. <laughs> That's why I come to it. Wow. Well it doesn't matter, it's still beautiful. This is a secret uh, spot. Well I see some other people, so we're not <laughs> yeah, the only yeah. ones here. <sighs> oh nice. Nice place. Many people this is more like that place. Yeah, maybe one, start, one time somebody shows them and then they know. Oh, I hear the peacocks. Rice field. Oh, there are rice fields. Yeah. I think my hotel is somewhere there, actually. Mm. Yes, 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 the antenna. I think my hotel is there, the white one. Ah, uh, white one. You know the name of that one? Yeah, I think that's Sigiriya Paradise Inn or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sigiriya yeah, it's... Paradise also that road. Yeah, well, yeah, because I, I remember the antenna yeah, yeah, yeah. and the rice fields in front. So then my hotel is like right there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice. You can see Piduranga rock also from here. Uh, ah, behind, yeah, yeah, the, yeah, yeah, yes. So that's where I was before and yeah. <laughs> oh, nice. Wait, I will end my video. <sighs> so this is the end of the video. Thank you for watching. If you're still watching, you're a legend. Legend. Say bye. Bye. And subscribe. <laughs>